Welcome to Greenfleet Scotland, where you can come and see some of the most incredible low-carbon vehicles from smaller manufacturers like Mega and Goupel through to massive manufacturers like Ford, Alfa Romeo, Mercedes, and you can even make history because today, for the first time at an exhibition, we're able to show the BMW i8. Electric vehicles are very often now indistinguishable from any other vehicle that you buy. And that's a very important point for people if you're trying to get the message across uh, to say that these vehicles can be just what you expect from a vehicle in every other respect, but they don't have the environmentally damaging effects uh, of other vehicles. I think that's real progress. And also, of course, as it was the case last year, some of the names you've now got, some of the manufacturers, BMW, Alfa Romeo, the Audis, which weren't here last year as well, and one or two other vehicles which are really showing the way. These are mainstream manufacturers, huge manufacturers, putting a great deal of money and effort into producing some fantastic vehicles. It's not all about high-performance vehicles, obviously, but I do think high-performance vehicles are a very effective way of showing how far electric vehicles have come. And, oh, the flags have waved, we're off. We've got Adrian Loning from the Electric Vehicle Association from Scotland. He's taken an early lead with Fife Council dropping in behind. Hope you're all enjoying this, oh, fabulous manoeuvre, window down, a wave to the crowd, what an exhibitionist. This is one of the best fuel efficient driver challenges I have ever seen. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, um, my name is Greg Donovan, uh, I'm from the RAC Business Services and I represent the telematics business uh, at the RAC, so hopefully everyone today has had an opportunity to come and see us on our stand uh, because we offer a whole host of additional motoring and organisation support services uh, in addition to our perhaps best known service which historically has been breakdown. Um, Today's focus so for us has been about telematics and we at the RAC are looking to use telematics and the data it provides to try and turn some of our additional services, accident management services, legal services, uh, fleet, fuel and telematics uh, into progressive and proactive services and moving away from static or reactive services. So that data to us is very important and I think for your own fleets as well um, those who don't use telematics already can gain a lot from the data that provides, uh, particularly around reducing the cost of motoring on an ongoing basis uh, and moving towards more improved uh, fleet efficiencies and, and, and productivity. When we kicked this off six years ago, yes, six years ago, uh, we had two electric vehicles and we had um, a cluster of exhibitors. I can't call this two, exhibitor, two electric vehicles and a cluster of exhibitors. Over here we have the latest BMW i3. Electric car, beautifully styled, zero grams of Carbon. It is utterly fabulous. We are working uh, closely with the Energy Savings Trust uh, and we've recently uh, started a partnership with Alphabet Leasing Company yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on their Alpha Electric program uh, and we are uh, step three of their program offering recharging consultancy and solutions. Now, you've been coming to Greenfleet Scotland for two or three years now. Why do you come? It's the event 
for Scotland. It's the event for the, for the fleet um, calendar in Scotland. Um, it's, it's the place we've got to come to. This is where already today, and, and we're only about an hour into the show, we've already met so many public sector fleets um, who either have already had experience of electric vehicles or are looking at electric vehicles. So it's great to re-engage with those, with those fleets, tell them what's changed, make them aware of the details of maybe they've already been running electric vans, so they've maybe got an idea about what electric vans can do or what they are doing.